In the next few examples, we're going to discuss nominal and effective interest rates. First of all, what is nominal and effective interest rate? When you want to invest money and you approach the bank and ask them at what interest will they, uh, will they, can you save this money with the bank? Then they will give you, like we call it, a quotation and they will say, for example, that they are prepared to pay you 8% interest per annum compounded monthly. Now, if you think about it, if the bank offers you 8% interest compounded monthly, because of the monthly compounding, which you will remember we discussed in our previous sessions, on a yearly basis, you will finally receive more than 8% on a yearly basis. So the interest quoted to you, the 8% per annum compounded monthly, is going to be, on a, for, in terms of a yearly interest rate, will most probably be 8,4, 8,5% yearly. And that is what this nominal and effective rates are all about. This nominal rate, that is the rate that the bank will quote you. So they will say 8% per annum compounded monthly. So then the number of calculations will be 12. The effective rate is always a yearly rate. And that is now the rate that you finally will get with your investment. What is that effective rate you will receive? So the rate they offer you, 8% compounded monthly, is going, to be, uh, is going to give you an effective yearly rate. And we want to calculate that rate. There is a formula that we're going to use to do this calculation. You need to make sure you remember this formula. It is not given on the formula sheet also not in grade 12 either. So this formula for nominal and effective interest rates you need to remember. Let's look at our first example and let's discuss it then further. 